Pierre Bale. Pierre Bale, French, November 18, 1647, December 28, 1706, was a French philosopher and writer best known for his seminal work The Historical and Critical Dictionary, publication beginning in 1697. Bale was a French Calvinist. As a forerunner of the Encyclopedists and an advocate of the principle of the toleration his works subsequently influenced the development of the Enlightenment. Biography. Bale was born at Carla Le Combe, later renamed Carla Bale in his honor, near Pemires, Ariège, France. He was educated by his father, a Calvinist minister, and at an academy at Poulaurens. He afterwards entered a Jesuit college at Toulouse, and became a Roman Catholic a month later, 1669. After 17 months, he returned to Calvinism and fled to Geneva. There he became acquainted with the teachings of René Descartes. He returned to France and went to Paris, where for some years he worked under the name of Bellet as a tutor for various families. In 1675 he was appointed to the Chair of Philosophy at the Protestant Academy of Sedan. In 1681 the University at Sedan was suppressed by the government in action against Protestants. Just before that event, Bale had fled to the Dutch Republic, where he almost immediately was appointed Professor of Philosophy and History at the École Illustre in Rotterdam. He taught for many years, but became embroiled in a long internal quarrel in the college which resulted in Bale being deprived of his chair in 1693. Bale remained in Rotterdam until his death on December 28, 1706. He was buried in Rotterdam in the Walloon Church, where Pierre Giroux would also be buried, seven years later. After the demolition of this church in 1922, the graves were relocated to the Cruzois General Cemetery in Rotterdam. A memorial stone shows that Pierre Bale is in these graves. Writings At Rotterdam, Bale published his famous Reflections on Comets in 1682 as well as his critique of Louis Mainberg's work on the history of Calvinism. The reputation achieved by this critique stirred the envy of Pierre Giroux, Bale's Calvinist colleague of both Sedan and Rotterdam, who had written a book on the same subject. Between 1684 and 1687, Bale published his Nouvelle de la République des Lettres, a journal of literary criticism. In 1686, Bale published the first two volumes of Philosophical Commentary, an early plea for toleration in religious matters. This was followed by volumes 3 and 4 in 1687 and 1688. In 1690 there appeared a work entitled Avis Important O Refugees, which Drew attributed to Bale, whom he attacked with great animosity. After losing his chair, Bale engaged in the preparation of his massive Dictionnaire Historique et Critique, Historical and Critical Dictionary, which effectively constituted one of the first encyclopedias, before the term had come into wide circulation, of ideas and their originators. In the dictionary, Bale expressed his view that much that was considered to be truth was actually just opinion, and that gullibility and stubbornness were prevalent. The dictionary would remain an important scholarly work for several generations after its publication. The remaining years of Bale's life were devoted to miscellaneous writings, in many cases, he was responding to criticisms made of his dictionary. Voltaire, in the prelude to his poem Sur le Désos de Lisbon calls Bale a plus grand dialectician qui a jamais écrit, the greatest dialectician to have ever written. The Nouvelle de la République des Lettres was the first thoroughgoing attempt to popularize literature, and it was eminently successful. His multi-volume historical and critical dictionary constitutes Bale's masterpiece. The English translation of the dictionary, by Bale's fellow Huguenot exile Pierre de Maiso, was identified by American President Thomas Jefferson to be among the 100 foundational texts to form the first collection of the Library of Congress. Views on Toleration Bale advanced arguments for religious toleration in his Dictionnaire historique and critique and commentaire philosophique. Bale rejected the use of scripture to justify coercion and violence, one must transcribe almost the whole New Testament to collect all the proofs it affords us of the gentleness and long-suffering, which constitute the distinguishing and essential character of the gospel. He did not regard toleration as a danger to the state, on the contrary. Bale also rejected the use of coercion and violence in the universities. Skepticism Richard Popkin has advanced the view that Pierre Bale was a skeptic who used the historical and critical dictionary to criticize all prior known theories and philosophies. In Bale's view, humans were inherently incapable of achieving true knowledge. Because of the limitations of human reason, men should adhere instead to their conscience alone. Bale was critical of many influential rationalists, such as René Descartes, Thomas Hobbes, Baruch Spinoza, Nicholas Malebranche, and Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz. Legacy and Honors Selected Works Legacy